Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be attempting to make a Thanksgiving feast cake. So let me clarify that a little bit. This is going to be a cake, but it's not going to be a sweet cake. It's going to be a cake that incorporates all of the components of Thanksgiving dinner in cake form. So this recipe was inspired by a delish video that someone sent me on my Facebook, and I will put the link to that original video down below. So my little spin on this recipe is that this is kind of an instant Thanksgiving feast. Everything I used except the little Cornish game hen is made prepackaged or bottled. So theoretically, you could put this Thanksgiving feast together in a couple hours. So I have a lot of work still left to do. We're gonna assemble this cake. So I've got an eight inch cardboard circle that I've wrapped in foil. I'm gonna put that on the bottom. And then we're gonna put one layer of our cornbread on top. Now, making the cakes was super simple. I just used this box of Jiffy cornbread mix. I mixed one egg with one third cup of milk, mixed that together, and then baked it for about 20 minutes. Next, we're going to add a layer of stuffing. Stuffing couldn't be simpler. I just brought up some water to the boil, added some butter, then poured the stuffing mix in, mixed it well, took it off the heat, and allowed it to sit for about five minutes. Now, this is going to be a little bit precarious. As you can see, the stuffing mix is pretty dry, so I'm going to try to pack it and not to put too much. I think what, I'm, oops. I think what I'm going to do is add a little gravy to this to kind of adhere things together. I'm predicting the texture of this could cause some structural issues, so I'm going to kind of pack it a little bit. Oh, you know, I should have covered my... forgot to do that. Oh, well that's useless. Alright, so to keep things neat, put some pieces of paper underneath the cake. And that will keep the cake sand clean, theoretically, right? I'm out of wax paper, so I'll use to use some foil as well. I'm just going to use my hands and pack this down a little bit because hands are good and they're clean. All right, so put a nice layer of my stovetop stuffing on top. Just for a little added moisture, I'm going to add a little bit of gravy. Just a little bit of glue here. Ooh, oops. I'm gonna add another layer of cornbread. I'm gonna do this upside down so it's nice and flat. Now we're gonna do a sweet layer. The yams are really easy to make. I just took this can of candied yams, drained out most of the syrup, mashed it up, added a little bit of butter and a little bit more syrup to get it nice and soft and mashed potato-like. And add our sweet potato. Along with a little bit of fluff, which is marshmallow fluff. I had never seen this before till I moved to New England, which is on the east coast of the US. I just learned that there's a marshmallow fluff festival. I had missed it. Hopefully I'll go next year. It's in Massachusetts, which is not far from where I live. So next year I'll have to go. So we'll put some of that there. Now we're gonna put our third and final layer of cornbread on top. Give that a good smush. Now to hold this all together, I'm gonna to use some of these skewers and keep these in there. Very professional of me, I must say. Okay, I gotta cut them to length because they're a little long. Boink. Boink. And this will help support our Cornish game hen, which we'll put on top, which will be our mini turkey. Okay, so that will give us some structural integrity and hopefully keep things from sliding. Now that we have the main components of our cake assembled, we are going to frost it with mashed potatoes. All right. These are instant mashed potatoes. They came together really, really simply. I just boiled some water, added some butter, then added the powdered mashed potatoes, or flakes actually, and whipped that together. Got mashed potatoes. They actually taste a lot like KFC mashed potatoes. I'm sure that's what they use, is instant mashed potatoes. 
So now that I have like the general coating on, I'm gonna use my offset spatula to kind of smooth things over. Mashed potatoes are definitely more transparent than frosting. You can kind of see my layers underneath, but that's all right. Now I have some reserved mashed potato and I'm going to attempt to pipe some design on the top. Here we go. Oh. All right, it's looking all right. Let's see, if hopefully I have enough. Oh yeah, baby. Doink. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's so satisfying. I forgot to do my gravy drizzle. I was supposed to drizzle gravy around the edges. Well, I think I was supposed to do the gravy drizzle before I did the piping, but I got a little too excited. So we're gonna add the gravy around now. Hopefully it won't be too much of a mess. Just making my cake look sweaty. <laughs> So I cooked up a little Cornish game hen. They're really, really cute and tiny. Look how cute, it's about the size of my face. <laughs> so to cook this, I dried off the skin, salted it, and placed it in a 400 degree oven for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes until the skin was nice and golden. And every so often I would take a brush and I would base the juices onto the skin. All right, so I'm gonna place my little Cornish game hen here. It's like my little mini turkey. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. Next, I'm gonna garnish with a little bit of greenery. I'm using cilantro. Traditionally, you would use parsley, but I'm using what I've got. <laughs> now I'm gonna tuck in the cranberry sauce. Now I'm gonna remove these pieces of paper and foil. Look at that! I'm so happy. Look, this turned out beautifully. Alrighty, will you look at this thing of beauty? <laughs> so, the moment I've been waiting for, besides putting this all together, the moment I've been waiting for is to actually taste this. We'll delicately move the Cornish game hen, so I can slice a decent slice. Cut into this, hopefully I won't hit a skewer, but I'll find out. Oh, spoke too soon. All right, let's go this way. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh. All right, that turned out great. Awesome, come back cranberry jelly. There's the inside of it. Happy Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. I love the idea of being grateful for what we have. I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for all the love that exists in my life and I hope yours is joy filled as well. All right, let's go ahead and eat this. This little Cornish game hen is so cute, it's so tiny. Have that with some of the mashed potato, cornbread. Oh gosh, stuffing. All right, itadakimasu. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is scrumptious. The Cornish game hen is cooked perfectly. It's juicy, has a nice crisp, fatty, chickeny skin. Love that. The stuffing is great. It's exactly what I remember and what I think of when I think of stuffing. There is a lot of cornbread here. In fact, it's a little bit redundant when you've got the stuffing already, but I'm not exactly sure what you would replace the cake portion with otherwise. All right, let's keep going. I didn't have any cranberry sauce on that one. Let's have some another bite of cranberry sauce. Mmm. And that flavor absolutely represents Thanksgiving to me. I think I only have cranberry sauce once a year and it's at Thanksgiving and that's it right there. It's tangy, it's sweet, it's got a great jellied texture. You might find this surprising but I actually prefer the jelly to the fresh cranberries. 
I just love the smooth consistency and the jelly texture of it. It's just, it's great. What else? Let's have a layer of the sweet potato. <laughs> mm. And it's actually very, very good. It's sweet, cinnamony, and has some of that marshmallow fluff, which makes it even sweeter. It tastes like dessert, but it's a really nice compliment actually to everything else. Let's have some of the mashed potatoes and gravy with everything. Mm. Delicious. You know, I thought this was gonna be really weird and gross because everything is collided together. But surprisingly enough for me, everything does kind of remain distinct. You have the cornbread separated between the stuffing and then you've got the mashed potato on the outside. Everything does still have its own place and kind of mixed together, it still works. It's delicious. So there you have it, an instant Thanksgiving feast in the form of a cake. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thanksgiving. Please share this video with your friends and follow me on social media and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. <laughs>